I say spider because I'm used to this position in, in Jiu Jitsu when I have this arm hooked and I hold this leg. This is called spider web. Okay? When I trained with Eddie Bravo, this is what he called this position, and I've always kept calling it that position because it's, it's a good, it's not really a, a specific name in Jiu Jitsu. You can go this way, but this offers me a different style of attacking and peeling his arms out. It also offers him to be able to throw his legs up and cause momentum and stack me and that kind of stuff. So if you ask grip, you pass your grip through, and I hold his leg, he can never get up on his leg. Try and turn in camp. He'll, he'll never be able to get up. But if I don't have that leg, can't camp throw his legs, try and start stacking like that. Okay? So that's why you'll hear me refer to the word spider or spider web. Okay? Back up a little bit. Now we're going to do the bait. Not just the bait, but a, a counter. Okay? A couple common things which you need to master in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and in all forms of grappling. Is the common reactions of your opponent. If I do this to his arm, there's only so many things he's gonna do with his other arm and his body. Maybe he bridges and pushes. Maybe he reaches and grabs his arm over the top. Right, good. Maybe he reaches and grabs his arm through. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's only a certain amount of things he's gonna do. He's not gonna take his arm and hide behind his back. You know what I mean? So if you if you understand the common reactions, you're quote unquote a step ahead. When people say, oh, that black belt is, they're five, six steps ahead of you. It's impossible. I cannot predict the future. I can't. I can have a single leg and know your common reactions from a single leg, but if you choose to at any moment, you can backflip, right? I cannot predict your actions. But if I try and guide you into the corner through movements, what I mean by guide to the corner is like, I trap you, right? I'm guiding you into the direction I want to go. I'm trying to do what I want to do. I know what you're going to do, most likely, so therefore I can catch it before you do it and complete whatever. Does that make sense? I know it's a kind of, a lot of what if scenarios, but uh, anyways. So, we're gonna go over this combination with the, with the Americana. I can even bait it, okay? So I get my wiggle action going like we did earlier and my elbow's way up by his head. He starts to come in with his arm. He comes in here. We use that same movement that we did before. We slide the knee up, we pull his arms up, and I get to S mount. But now check this out, guys. I have a vertical Americana, okay? All right, so you see his arm is just like this, and instead of it being on the ground and going like that, I'm here and I'm rotating it that way. So I had this from the get-go. Okay. But if his arm was still in here like this, I can also just abandon that, hold his arms, let go, go for the arm lock. But I use the Americana to get there, okay? So, can also look, I use my forearms. Instead of just the wiggle, I use my forearms and I trap his arm down. See what I'm talking about? I start to go like this, he gets his arm underneath. I'm like, oh no, you don't. And I can even keep this grip, look, but I pull it up so his cam is weak and his muscular and the structure, the structure of his body. Squeeze my knee and my elbow together, finish that Americana okay. and the arm bar. Last time, okay? Super simple combination here. Maybe I didn't have the Americana fully. I just go for the arm lock. Yeah. Now I brought his other hand with me so he doesn't push my leg off or do anything like that. And maybe I do have the Americana grip. Boom, he starts to come underneath. I just keep the grip, pull up to S mount, yeah. finish the Americana. Also have the arm bar though to get in an extra rep. Good to go? Sure. Any questions? Ready, set, 